Hey guys, I wanted to create a little quick, we'll see how long it ends up being, uh, instructional video about how to take a uh, aftershave that you might like, or at least one that you might like to try to put into a shaving soap. And I ended up with a free bottle of this, and I think it smells good. I don't necessarily like to use it as a cologne, but I do like it, uh, I probably like it as a shaving soap. And so what you can do is put it in a soap. This is half a stick of Arco. Arco is a, uh, I think a Turkish soap. It often comes in sticks. It does come in pucks too, but uh, sometimes you can find the sticks for $1.50 or something like that. And uh, you just shred it with a cheese grater, normal everyday cheese grater. And it turns into these little shreds that look just like shredded cheese. And it is a pretty potent lemony industrial scent at first. So I like to let this plate uh, sit out for a couple of weeks. And then the most of that scent will go away. So there we go. Now, you find a container. I did this once before with a puck of Williams and some Adidas Pulse um, cologne from, or aftershave from Walmart. Worked really well but I put it in a container that had kind of a round U-shaped bottom. And so when it finally became soap form, it wouldn't stay on the bottom because it kept rocking. So this time I'm doing it in more of a square bottom container. This is a, uh, a uh, empty tub of Castle Forbes lime. And I, I got it from Maggard because they scoop soaps out from containers and put them in their samples and then they'll sell instead of throwing away the empty containers they'll sell them to you for a buck or two and this was nice because it got let me smell the lime i've tried castle forbes before i'm not really impressed with their performance um, but i got to smell the lime and it's really nice authentic uh, lime i can see why people like that scent so i washed out the tub i there are some of the curls from arco already in there because i wanted to take a picture for the video uh, thumbnail, you know, and the nice thing about a paper plate is you can just kind of bend it in half and then I'm going to pour the shreds into the uh, jar. Now, if you want to shred a whole stick and I mean, why not? Because it's, it's cheap. Uh, I'm just doing a half a stick today, but if you want to shred a whole stick, then I would use two paper plates and divide the shreds up between that. Let them air out for a couple of weeks and then they'll be good to go. They still have a little bit of that kind of lemony industrial scent, but I got a feeling the Stetson's going to kill all that. Now, one time I used half a bottle of uh, something. I can't remember what it was. And it... The scent wasn't super strong. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the whole bottle. This was a freebie bottle. And so we're going to empty it into the soap shreds now we've got alcohol obviously in this aftershave we need to wait for that alcohol to evaporate and we need to stir it every day maybe a couple times a day to help get that alcohol uh, out and the soap will then eventually uh, start to kind of the soap little shreds will eventually start to absorb the um, the oils and all the fragrance parts. So right now you can see it's pretty, a whole lot of liquid in there. Now you may want to try just half a bottle of an aftershave. Um, in some senses, it's not all that cheap of a hack. A couple of bucks for the soap. And, you know, sometimes this is $6 at Walmart. There are some really good soaps that you could, you know, buy um, for just a few dollars more to have a good scent. But maybe if you like the scent, um, then, and Arco is a great performer. You know, there are people who argue that the scent sucks, but uh, there are very few people argue that the performance of Arco as a soap, as a shaving soap, is inferior. Anyway, I'll take a popsicle stick or something like that. I'll set it, uh, I'll set it out, and I'll come back to you with, uh, with more videos um, I mean, it'll blip, you know, to the next day or whatever, and I'll, I'll we'll, we'll track its progress, 
And all I'm going to do is just give it a good stir, uh, maybe twice a day, and we're and you'll you'll be able to see the uh, uh, I'll be able to see the alcohol just evaporate, and that's really all there is to it. And eventually, it gets really hard to stir because everything is joining together. And then when it gets super hard, then you just press you just press it down um, into kind of a solid puck. And I actually have that puck of Williams on hand. And see, here's that rounded bottom, and it would never stay in the bottom of the container. I use it in the shower now, and it's it's still got that Adidas scent in there. And uh, you can see, you can probably see maybe that it's uh, just some shreds that were all kind of compacted together to make a shaving soap. And it worked really well as a shaving soap until it became dislodged and wouldn't really work anymore. So right now, waiting game. It might take a week. For, to get the alcohol out, and in a way you need to uh, cut it off at some point because you don't want all the fragrance to evaporate either. Uh, but there we go. I'll just uh, I'll stir it every couple days, and when it's visibly different, I'll I'll, I'll add to this uh, video clip and uh, you know try, um, concatenate all the videos together so that you can see how I uh, see its progress. So today is the twelfth. Uh, today is the twelfth. So we'll we'll watch it. Watch it come together, and then you'll know how to make a, a DIY soap. Uh, you could make it from any any cheap soap. You know, Derby's pretty cheap. Williams, Arco. Arco's easier to lather, so that's why I chose Arco this time. Oh, and I'll say it's important not to cap it. That's the whole point. We're getting that alcohol to evaporate, and so we'll just uh, we'll leave it open. Hey, guys. February 19th now and this is the container that you saw me put the aftershave in and then the shavings of Arco but then this container it, it's kind of high in the middle and so I knew that the middle it just I wasn't going to be able to compress the soap and and all that so I made another half stick and it's been about a week and you can't you can't smell it until you get about this close and so hopefully enough of the scent has faded so let's shake some of that down in now the first group of shavings that was able to sit around I'm spilling some but you know that's all right the first group of shavings was able to sit around for like a month or something while I tried to figure this project out. Well, as you can see, we're kind of filling up the thing here. And so some of the Stetson's not really going to be able to work on that. But you know what? Stetson's fairly cheap. And I want to just try this project out. See if I have some more. Well, yeah, now this may actually be slightly different than that first batch that I put in. So, but I think it's fine for testing purposes. It's got the same scent, or at least really close to it. So you can see, we can kind of watch the level of the aftershave rise as I keep shaking this stuff in. And I just, I rarely use this. So if I ever get a Stetson craving, I can just go to Walmart, get some. So that is two bottles, basically. And it's coming up right to this level, right a little bit lower than that level. And uh, we're just going to kind of stir it around a little bit. I, uh, I think I explained in the previous clip that what I was going to do was cap up. And I was glad that the container I chose had a cap because I just wanted to put more soap. 
in this mix and it looks like I didn't even need to put that much aftershave in there but you know we uh, a lot of this is alcohol and so it's gonna evaporate so now I can let this sit out and evaporate because the alcohol kills the lather And so, you want to let the alcohol evaporate. You want to try to keep the scent, but let the alcohol evaporate. So, maybe it's a thing where you don't want to set it out forever, you know. But uh, I think you will be able to watch it. And so, I think we'll be all right. Maybe kind of intuitively tell when um, it starts to solidify, you know. So I'm just going to let it sit for a few days. We'll check back in, like stir it once a day, that sort of thing. And now I can leave the cap off. I was I was not wanting the everything to evaporate before I put the extra, the additional soap in there. Now I feel like I have enough soap to where I'll be able to tamp it down and still have plenty of, of soap in there. Maybe the wide mouth jar wasn't a great idea, but we'll just see how it ends up. I am going to cap it up for now, just so I don't spill it while I'm carrying things back to my office. All right. We'll see how that goes. Hey, we are early, early, early in the morning on the 20th of February. Probably 24 hours since I last recorded a clip. And I just wanted to show you the big difference here. Um, you can still kind of see some of the liquid down here in the bottom. But I believe 24 hours ago, it looked very different. You could see plenty of liquid. It looked like the soap was just sitting around in the liquid. Very different now. After it had uh, sat for several hours, what happened was the, the top had, had a lot of the alcohol to evaporate and had firmed up some. Well, that, op that acted like a seal to then keep the alcohol from evaporating down here. And so once I broke through with a popsicle stick or stirring, whatever, um, then I would stir it and then it would get, it started to throughout the day, I would stir it every few hours and it would get kind of clumpy like this. And my point was to fold it over to bring the liquidy alcohol stuff up to where it can be exposed to the air. And I would poke down into it with the popsicle stick to allow channels for that alcohol to evaporate. And it gets harder and harder, firmer and firmer as the time passes. And it's gonna get uh, to be a nice hard soap. At the very end, I'll be pressing down with it with my thumb. You can still see some liquidy pockets right there of the, uh, the alcohol that needs to evaporate. Just keep stirring it, keep stirring it, and it'll get harder and harder as we go. Hey guys, so this is set for a day and we are on the 21st of February. So it should just be, you know, 24 hours since uh, ish, uh, since my last post. So I'm digging this up here. You can see the top part is really quite hard. Whoa, I don't know if a bug got in that or what. Throw that part away. I'm going to dig down. I could see through the side of the container, and maybe this is a nice benefit to creating this kind of project in a clear container so that you can see when the bottom also starts to lose that moisture. See, there we go. We still have some down there. And the alcohol will hurt your lather is what I've come to understand. And so that's why we need to work that alcohol out of there. So th I'm just showing you the consistency of it. Just so you know what to expect. It's very simple. Uh, we're just mixing it on a regular basis until it gets hard. The top part started pretty hard, but as you can see now, it's just 
starting to kind of resemble some kind of firm mashed potatoes um, as the bottom part starts to mix with the top that was that had dried out more and so then uh, right I, that's it, I'm, that's all I want to do so now I'm just going to kind of make zigzag motions you know do something to uh, figure out a way to kind of let air get down in there because the more surface is that my guess just a guess but I think it's an educated one is that the more surface you can give to the areas that have the alcohol the quicker it'll evaporate okay still got that nice uh, still got that nice Stetson smell and it's still fairly strong so I don't believe we're at the point where we're causing the uh, cologne to lose its strength at least not to a large degree there we go all right hey been a few days now with the arco one stick of arco here and as you can see i've kind of as i've stirred it up i've left air holes in there so that the alcohol could evaporate i don't see any liquid at all connected to the soap and I've showed you I have shown you the side of the tub you can see it's much more solid now and so what we're going to do now is just press it in with my, my thumbs here and you can see in this case it's still quite soft I'm just going to compact it I do still feel a little bit of wetness but we'll just roll with it at this point Especially right there in the middle and if I and since I do feel it kind of wet maybe I'll press the middle down get some more surface area right there and let it sit out again and basically that's going to be the step now instead of the stirring aspect we are going to switch to uh, just the press down and hopefully we can get that uh, less wet here in the middle and and then it'll I'll be able to press it down uh, I know that Williams, when you do this, gets pretty hard and firm. Arco may be slightly different, maybe a slightly softer soap uh, than Williams. And so I may not necessarily need to expect the same texture and feel, but hopefully we can get it uh, fairly firm to be able to then load it on a brush, in, kind of like a normal, in normal fashion. So uh, as you can see, it's pressed down fairly, uh, you know, low in the tub. And so it's... Uh, you can tell the alcohol, I mean, it was really kind of up here when it, uh, all the alcohol and stuff was in it from the aftershaves. And so some of the soaps definitely, definitely, I definitely get the scent. The scent is still in there in a, in a big way. And so we'll, uh, we'll leave it out a little bit more. And then when this um, gets hard, the, cert, the top surface gets hard, then we know we're close to uh, being able to seal it up. And then uh, you just use it like a normal soap whenever we feel like it. Hey guys, so today is the 24th of February, and today I pressed it all down to be kind of flat. It is a little bit lower than this first curved shoulder, I guess if you were to average it all together. You can see it kind of looks a little uh, moonscapey and kind of dry and powdery. The center part, though, actually has a good bit of, of uh, wetness to it and pliability. I'm hoping, obviously, as we let it keep drying that will start to solidify and we'll get a uh, a good soap but as you can see from the side you know we don't see any wetness definitely not any liquid so i think we're on our way here to getting this guy to uh, dry out and be a good soap in the future all right it is february the 26th and here is what the soap surface looks like. As you can see, it's kind of crumbly and dry. I'm just going to kind of push. It looks dry, but it's not really. I'm just pushing, just pressing down with my thumbs to flatten out the soap surface. And yeah, the center that had a lot more give earlier is, is more solid. And so it is hardening. And I don't have any doubt that everything's going to work out just fine with this uh, soap you uh, if you push it so hard that other parts come up then maybe back off just a little bit and uh and don't worry about the appearance like right now with all the roughness and stuff 
when you start using it, it will smooth out on top and everything will kind of join together as the soap dries and all that stuff. So that's all we're doing now is just kind of pressing it down as it gets firmer and drier like that. And I like to do that, this in the bathroom because your thumbs will get messy and you'll need to rinse them off. Hey guys. So here's my last post on the DIY Arco soap that I made. It's in this uh, Castle Forbes container uh, because that was one I got from Maggard. And it's pretty hard. I'm pressing it in with a medium amount of force. It's resisting me fairly well. I could still press around in it, you know, if I wanted to. The And you could see how, like around the corner, it's not super solid, but you could, you know, you could press in there if you wanted. But to tell you the truth, I'm ready to start using it. It is a little bit moist to the touch. And uh, like, for instance, when I touch it, I feel the need to uh, rinse my fingers off. And I... I let it sit kind of vented for a while, a few days. Uh, like for instance, today is March the, uh, well, with my, my watch, the hands kind of obscure the, the date. So uh, I think it's the 11th maybe or something like that. Um, and so it, it was ready actually, uh, you know, several days ago, but this is the last stage. It's hard. And I can, it's ready for me to, to load up on. I had it sealed up for a while. And what that ended up happening, uh, allowing me to see was the moisture content. Because then after a couple of days, I would open it up and look. And I could see moisture gathering on top of the soap. So that told me, hey, uh, maybe I should let it breathe for a little while longer. So I did that. Now, maybe that's no big deal. Maybe that would keep the scent in a little bit more so you can make your own decision about that scent is nice and strong still after quite a while so i'm really excited to shave with it actually today and i'll do that in a separate video you can look for that sugar daddy shaves and then uh, arco stetson might be the search term that you need i'll also put it in the description of this video uh, so you can shoot over there real easy and uh there we go so Here's the close-up of the final product. And you can see, you can remember how high it was in the container. I haven't used it at all. I haven't extracted any soap. It just comes up to the shoulder right here. It all reduced down. That alcohol evaporated. Of course, it's hard. It's not going to come out or anything like that. So, let's use it and see what happens. Performance of Arco with the scent of Stetson. Let's see if I like that. All right. Well, I hope this has been a good video for you. I'm going to concatenate all the little clips together so that it's one uh, good stream for you. And, uh, and hopefully it's help, helpful to those DIY guys out there who want to put together their own soap. And pretty much any hard soap can be done this way. Just uh, shred it up. And, and then drown it in aftershave. You can experiment with the scent strength is one of the keys. I wanted a strong soap, so I erred on the side of dumping lots in there. And if you like small, uh, lighter scented soaps, you can adjust the ratio, reduce that aftershave that you pour in. There you go. Now, of course, they also sell um, essential oils, uh, for fragrancing uh, soaps and things that you can buy on eBay and stuff. Sandalwood and, and other those uh, kinds of scents. And you can buy those. Now, you're starting to get more expensive. This is kind of a cheapy type project. But that is possible. If you want to just kind of ad hoc make your own soap um, um, mixtures and attempts and, you know, blend your own fragrances uh, in a small batch kind of way, you could do that if you wanted. Um, now, I, you know, I'm not going to go that far because uh, just a few drops probably is all 
that you'd need for a soap tub like this. So how you'd stretch that across in all the soap, like, uh, you know, I, I don't know how that would work out, but it is possible to do that. All right. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm really uh, excited to shave with it. I'm, uh, I am sometimes a personality that long multi-step projects get put by the wayside. But here's another one I, I did, and I'm really happy about that. I did a brush that took me a while to get the old handle, ream it out and clean it, uh, figure out what depth I wanted to set the knot in. And each one of these steps took a while, but I finally got it taken care of as well. And, uh, and I'm proud of that and enjoy it. And so here's another little mini project to, to be proud of. So, hey, uh, there you go. Hope this video helps you, uh, you out. You take care.